You must construct additional pylons. Ooh. The Malachites, Father No Israel at again. Benaiah's a big softie, apparently. Welcome back, everybody, to Additional Pylons Games. We're continuing our playthrough of Five Guardians of David. I know he still plans vengeance against the Moabites. Mm. Vengeance on the Moabites. Uh, still have this bug where things keep popping up, even though I don't tell it to go to. Whatever. All right. So did lots of item stuff and uh, upgrading and all sorts of stuff. So we're starting to get like plate armor and leather armor more frequently, which is really nice, actually. Allows us to do um, some. Ooh. Ooh, Scout and Getty. Okay. And Getty Ridge. X6 Mission 1. Oh, we get to play as Ariella. There we go. Nice. Stealth time again, people. Stealth time with Ariella. The most overpowered character here in Five Guardians of David. She should be the lone guardian of David. Just saying. All right. And Getty is a lush valley bordering on south central western side of the Dead Sea. Located south of Masada and Qumran. Ah, Qumran, that's where the uh, the lost, I think that's where the lost, sea, the Dead Sea Scrolls were found. Um, anyways, uh, extensions of En Gedi extend to the region south of Jerusalem. En Gedi used by David as a refuge and place to write his psalms, okay? So I'll try to trap him there when David was an outlaw. Later times, the valley is used by invading forces to threaten Jerusalem today. Very popular tourist destination because of its waterfalls, hiking trails, and famous history. Nice. All right, let's travel on. Let's get rid of that annoying menu, and we're in Edom. Edom. All right. Jacob's brother Esau founded the Edom Edomites. Okay. All right. So we know that we're going to be playing as Ariella. Stealth time with Ariella. Okay. Philistines subdued and the Malachites destroyed. You can now seek vengeance on the Moabites. So he's got his special ephod on. The ephod is all sewed up nicely, but it's got 12 different stones for the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, Edomites have been on a Burden shall now suffer at your hands. Okay. Southeast. Alright. Gathers generals and advisors. Capturing the city of Akaba. Akaba. Valley of En Gedi. It's sure to be guarded. That's why your sister will be scouting it for us. Valley of Salt. Valley of Salt is where I was when I faced that uh, Ishbi, what's his name, boss. Super salty. All right. Do we have any new abilities? No, we do not. But we do have our regular ones, which are fantastic in and of themselves. Um, she has no character screen because we don't like do any items with her. But you don't need to because she can just straight up murder anyone with one punch. All right. Let's talk to this dude. Edder. Oh, hey, I know you. Information scattered around their caps. Group movements, battle plans, supply line lists, everything. There are some advantageous overlooks where you can easily see and tell it. See. So we need to observe the camps, not only. So there we go. <laughs> Throw a knife. Dude is down. And then. Oh. Oh. Push him down a cliff. Jeez, girl. Southeast Israel, part of modern day Jordan. So known as Sire. Seir. Alright. Pick up some pots that we'll never use. Um, but hey. Sounds good. Ooh, gas. Strange gas coming. Okay. Alright. Now we're getting a little bit more of a stealth challenge. So we gotta hide behind this rock. And we're gonna take out this guy on top first. With a well placed knife. Got him bottom here. Come on. <laughs> with a good place double handed punch. Jacob were brothers. Edomites are descended from Esau. The Israelites were descendants of Jacob. Therefore, the two nations. The uh the whole story of Jacob and Esau and like the birthright and everything. If you're not familiar with it, you can Google it. Um but basically, the idea is that Esau was a hunter. Jacob was kind of like indoorsy, I guess. He didn't really like to do like outdoor stuff. How how are how are you noticing me? 
All right, well, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna run around a rock and then knife you in the back. What? Double punch then. Double punch for you, sir. Double punch. Pick up some pots again. Pots that I never use. And there we go. We got ourselves a checkpoint. So Jacob was kind of indoorsy. Uh, ooh. See what's going on here. All right. Jacob was kind of indoorsy. Esau was outdoor guy, and uh, Esau was out hunting. He was unsuccessful. He came back in, and uh, keep the fires off. Fair enough. You gotta be kidding. Me. Um, and so basically. Ah. I see. Um, can't get away. Uh, so basically, there we go. So basically, uh, Jacob said, I'll give you some soup that I made while you were gone in return for the birthright. The birthright basically being that he gets the most, most of the, uh, most of the possessions when their father passed. So Esau being very short-sighted, impatient, sold his birthright for some soup. And then got mad at Jacob for the rest of his life, basically. Alright. So there you are. Abbreviated history of Jacob and Esau. Alright. Double punch! <laughs> Keep the fires off. Wonder what happens if they get on. Who's there? Nobody. Nobody is there. Huh. Ooh. You there, halt. No. All right. Smoke screen. Uh There we go. That works. Picking up pots and smashing other ones. All right. Ooh, she's got increased damage output, too. Interesting. The blessings affect Ariella as well. Good to know. Good to know. Knife to the face. All right. This is our first overlook. Double punch. Or is this our second overlook, and did I miss the first one? Oh, man. I really hope I didn't miss the first one. Okay, that's getting a little annoying. And it is looking like I did, in fact, miss the first one. <laughs> so, let's do a little back backtracking. Unfortunately, she does not move any faster. And... So, like, okay. So, look, just look at her raw stats. She's got 5k health without any items. And she's got 2300 stamina. Like, she is by far the best, like, the most fit warrior out of all of the characters in this game. Alright. There we go. Alright. So that wasn't too bad. Ooh. I see your camp. I'm a creepy girl spying on you. Alright. There's all the secret scrolls and stuff. And there's the menu again. Keeps popping up. Alright. Don't tell me I can't get through now. Okay. There we go. Alright. Pathing people. Pathing. Very important. Alright. On we go. Ariel, I gotta get, gotta get some of these. Whoever it is that we're hurting, Edomites, Edomites. There we go. Fires remained off. We have scouted their camps, and I see where their pots are. That's the most important part. I see your pots, sir. I will take them. Yeah. Experience and shekels. Smash one pot. Take another. Do, 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 do. All right. Got ourselves a checkpoint. And we got a couple different ways that we can go. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go up to begin with. Boom. He's down. Okay. Got some more plans. Secrets. Found your secrets. Ooh. Sneaking through the water. And they'll never find the body. Vicious, girl. Vicious. All right. Battle plans. Pots. Ooh, okay. But he didn't see a thing. Ooh. Get them. That's a problem. Run away. And double punch. <laughs> Boom. This is nice. This is a different aesthetic. You got the you got like kind of this lakeshore. This lakeshore theme thing going on here. Got a sneaky sneaky in the water. Did I get stuck? Uh, no, I did not get stuck. Double punch. Steal a pot. And I think I saw earlier. Yeah. Hiding those caches real good now. Hmm. Jehoshaphat. Jumping Jehoshaphat. Alright. Knife that guy. Couple good punches on those dudes. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. Report in. Yes, report in. There, yeah, there it is. Final cash. Let's get it. David has used the Ngeti as a hideout while avoiding Saul. Seems like a... I don't know. I have no idea how accurate this is to the actual geography of Ngeti, but it looks nice. All right. Valley of Salt. Move on to the next area. Let's see what we have in the Valley of Salt. Probably going to have to break... If it's another part of this mission, probably going to have to break up this mission into two parts. Maybe not. All right, we got a little comic here. Success. Army entered before the Edomites. Uh oh, that's a problem. Ferocity in battle, loyalty to commanders. King, utter devotion to the Lord, single-handedly held off hundreds of Philistines during the Battle of Gaps. Hundreds? It's one of those things where it's like, it's kind of hard to believe, but at the same time, there are a lot of, like, amazing feats that have happened through, throughout history. And, I don't know, it just seems like you don't get those kind of, like, heroic deeds nowadays. I'm just saying. Battle's about to begin. Joab and I have devised a stalling tactic by you. Time to overthrow their command structure. Interesting. Venture spear is mighty and his heart is pure. Yes. So Uriah will come up later in David's story. Not in a good way. Spoilers. Oh, also, look at that hammer, dude. Look at the look at that hammer. It's ridiculous. This thing. This this was uh what's his name? The guy with like the catapult attacks, the, the boss with the catapult attacks. That was a good boss. That was a fun boss. And that's what I got from him. Hello, sir. Greetings, mighty warriors. Rem fan. I've received reports of iron, iron weapons, weapons stores. Sealed by the Edomites in preparation hmm. for the upcoming battle. It would be a shame if they. I see. So, steel iron weapons. We're gonna use Benai here for a little bit. Have some fun with him. Hey, hey, boys. Big spins. All right, I need to upgrade that ability, but also those archers. Good night. Um, what? I can't do that. There we go. It seems like I was just missing or something like that. Need some bread. Also, yes. Ooh, that's maybe that's why we have a lieutenant here. Um, 
little upgrade that we got is that now our bread is like uh, special bread um, from all the uh, basically from all the uh, donating that I did so our bread is now special and it restores health and stamina all right we're gonna look at that lieutenant he is now defenseless boom big damage on the lieutenant we'll do some spinning do some kicks Power shield, so he's got a lot of defense. Captain. Ugh. That little crack there at the end just sounds just sounds devastating. That's like it literally sounds like they actually had somebody break their bone <laughs> so that they re could record the sound of it. Alright. Taking all their stuffs. Wrecking all their stuffs. And lots of people here that don't like us taking all their stuffs. Alright, we're gonna spin for a little bit. Spin for the win. <laughs> All right. Big attacks. All right. Shekels, shekels, shekels galore. All right. Take out this lieutenant. So here we are. We're taking out their command structure. Taking out their lieutenants and captains and all sorts of special people that give commands. Ooh, shield stuff's everywhere. All right. Um... Big miss on the statue. <laughs> Come on, Benaya. Statue doesn't move. Uh, but they do. They go flying. Uh, yeah, that's what we wanted. Wanted that big, that big hit. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> did we defend it? I think we did. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Edomite stuff is kind of cool. It's got some green in it. Did it have to put those items on somebody here in a little bit. Uh, okay. So, what did that accomplish? Or did we just have to get the oasis before we branch out and do anything else? All right. Here's some weapons. Spin to win. Oh, Captain, that's why. I was wondering why there wasn't a whole lot of damage going on. Alright, knock him down. Kick him in the butt. There we go. Alright. Jeez, people. Look at all this stuff. Just gonna take it all. Alright. Bye, guys. <laughs> Eat some bread. Lieutenant Dan is going down. There we go. Alright. Jeez, lots of stuff now. Alright. I think that's it for this little area. Can we can we move again? There we go. There we go. Thanks for watching Additional Pylons Games. Click one of the boxes to watch another video and click the circle to subscribe and join the APG Zealots. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and share it with your friends. Comment below and I'll see you next time here on Additional Pylons Games.